Hello and welcome to today's video. Uh, I want to show you this uh, old-fashioned mechanical adding machine today. Uh, we picked this up at an auction not long ago. Um, so I'm going to quickly go through and perform some calculations on it and show you how it works. Uh, if we wanted, so let's start off with a simple adding. So we wanted to do 12. Uh, 12 plus 20. As you can see, our 12 came down here once we turned the, uh, the handle once. So if we wanted to add 20 to 12, we simply just turn the handle again and we will get 32. Uh, same for multipl uh, not multiplying, uh, subtraction. If we wanted to take away 10, we can set 10 up here and we just turn the handle back one, like so. If we wanted to, and as you can see here, it's indicating it's a plus 22. If we wanted to get a minus number, or if we added, a, if we subtracted a number that was too big, say 30, if we turn this handle once backwards, it goes to 9999999992 at the bottom. This is okay, uh, this is expected, because what we would do is clear the top using that lever we would then push this lever which will take this number and put this number up here uh, notice that it's only it's a 13 digit number down here but we can only have 10 up here so it's going to drop these last three digits we then turn this handle once uh, no we don't we actually clear this which takes it clears the bottom and puts the number at the top we then take this dial and turn it backwards one more um, ignore these last three digits because it, it's just happened because it was uh, it's only a 10 digit at the top and so we, we just ignore them but as you can see this has now shifted to a minus number as we turn that backwards once and we actually get minus 8 which was uh, the result of the calculation that we did before so that's adding and subtracting. Uh, we could also do multiplication. Um, so let's do some of that now. <clears throat> These levers, by the way, um, if you pull them both at the same time, it clears both. But if you pull that one, it will clear this one, I believe, and that one clears that one. Um, so that's clearing and using the shift register back up. So what we're going to do now, multiplication, let's do 12 times 12, everyone knows 12 times 12 is 144. So if we turn this twice, we get our 2 in the units, shift it along to the 10, turn it once and we get a 12. So 12 times 12 is 144, which is what we were expecting. Um, we can then add numbers to that, so if we shifted this back to the units and added, we want to add 200 to this number, we can actually do that. So we just shift this back to the units, that's important. We would then set our number which we want to add, so 200 in this case. We add this to this and we should get 344, which we do. Uh, again we can take away numbers so let's take away 100 and we go back to 244 so that is multiplication and addition and subtraction all put into one after the other uh, we can also do long multiplication so if we wanted to do 12 times 98 for example if we shifted this to 100 to the hundreds times 12 by 100. Now instead of doing this 9 times and then 8 times to do 98, we can actually set it to 100 and then put it back to the units and go backwards to. Like so. So now we've got 98 there. 12 times 98 is 1,176. 1, so that's a little shortcut for doing long multiplication or multiplication with big numbers. Uh, you can also do divisions and decimals, but I haven't worked out how to do them yet. Uh, I'm still playing around with this lovely bit of equipment. Um, 
So yeah, that's all I'm going to show you really today. This was just a video just to say, look at this, I really like it, it's magical. Because it is magical, I have... I really want to take it apart to have a look inside, but I know that if I take it apart, cogs are going to go everywhere in this room, and it's never ever going to work again. So I, I want to leave it all in part, all, all together, and I just want to just imagine magical stuff happening inside there, because that's what I see it as. It's magic. To be able to calculate numbers with cogs and everything, that's really cool. Um, so yeah. That's it for today. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, as much as me just showing you this. Uh, so yeah, stay tuned and there will be more coming soon. See ya.